In the heart of a misty mountain jungle, a silent hunter waits, but this predator has leaves, not legs. Its traps, lush and inviting, conceal a deadly secret. One curious sip of sweet nectar could be a rodent's last mistake. This is nature's very own little shop of horrors, a carnivorous plant capable of feasting on unsuspecting rats and mice. Prepare to meet the rat-eating pitcher plant, a real-life botanical nightmare turned marvel of evolution. Welcome to African Garden, where we explore the most fascinating wonders of the natural world. In today's episode, we delve into the realm of carnivorous plants, discovering a giant pitcher plant that blurs the line between flora and fauna. No gardening gloves needed for this adventure, just curiosity and a strong stomach. Carnivorous plants might sound like science fiction, but they're very real. And pitcher plants are among the most dramatic examples. These unusual plants have evolved modified leaves shaped like deep pitchers or cups, which act as deadly pitfall traps. They lure insects and occasionally bigger creatures with bright colors and sweet nectar bribes. When prey venture too far, they slip on the pitcher's slick, waxy rim and tumble inside, finding no escape. The walls are too smooth to climb, effectively turning the leaf into a prison. At the bottom lies a pool of liquid, a mix of rainwater and the plant's own digestive juices. Here, the victim drowns and enzymes and acids break down the carcass into a soup of nutrients. In this way, pitcher plants can absorb vital elements like nitrogen from their prey, a brilliant survival strategy for life in nutrient-poor soils. Meet Nepenthes attenboroughi, one of the largest and most astonishing pitcher plants ever discovered. Named after famed naturalist Sir David Attenborough, this species was found on a remote mountaintop in the Philippines and shocked scientists with its enormous size. Its pale green pitchers are bell-shaped and can hold up to two liters of liquid, about as much as a large soda bottle, to put that in perspective. These traps are so big that researchers noted they're large enough to catch not only insects, but also rodents as large as rats. It didn't take long for the media to dub N. Attenboroughi the rat-eating plant, a sensational nickname that incredibly isn't far from the truth. This plant's gaping moor is a true little shop of horrors in the wild capable of turning small animals into fertilizer. How does a stationary plant manage to catch something as quick and wary as a mouse? Deception and design. An Attenborough High and its kin are masters of luring prey into a deadly fall. The rim of the pitcher, called the peristome, secretes a sugary nectar that is irresistible to insects and even mammals. A hungry rat drawn by the sweet scent might climb onto the pitcher's lip for a taste. But that rim is a slippery curved ledge. One wrong step and the animal loses its footing. The pitcher's interior is slick and lined with waxy cells, so once an unlucky victim slides inside, escape is nearly impossible. The creature eventually exhausts itself and drowns in the pitcher's fluid. Then comes the gruesomely fascinating part. The plant's digestive enzymes and acids go to work, dissolving the prey's soft tissues. Over days or weeks, the rodent is reduced to a protein-rich broth and specialized glands on the pitcher walls absorb the nutrients. Essentially, the plant has eaten the rat or at least digested it into a form it can use. What remains of the prey might be just bits of fur and bone sediment at the bottom of the pitcher, a silent testament to this remarkable feeding strategy. While bugs make up the bulk of their diet, large pitcher plants do occasionally claim a bigger catch. In Borneo, the giant Nepenthes raja, a close cousin of N. Attenboroughi, was long rumored to devour rodents. In 1862, those rumors became fact when a British explorer found a drowned rat inside one of Enraja's massive pitchers. This was the first documented case of a plant consuming a vertebrate, and it earned Enraja a fearsome reputation. Fast forward to recent times. Nepenthes Attenborough itself provided proof of its lethal potential. In 2012, during a return expedition to its remote habitat, researchers discovered a dead tree shrew inside one of the plant's pitchers. When they returned several weeks later, only a pile of bones, fur and a few remains were left floating in the fluid. The shrew had been almost completely digested. There have also been anecdotal reports of other small animals meeting a similar fate. Frogs, lizards and even small birds have occasionally been found in the largest pitchers, especially in greenhouses or areas with abundant prey. These incidents are rare and for the plant likely opportunistic windfalls rather than regular meals. 
but they cement the pitcher plant's status as a true botanical predator. It's not every day you find fur and bones inside a flower. While Nepenthes atambrahi might be the star of this horror show, it's far from the only carnivorous plant out there. In fact, scientists have identified at least 800 carnivorous plant species worldwide, each with its own deadly trick. Consider the famous Venus flytrap, a small plant but a spectacular hunter. Its jaw-like leaves snap shut on unsuspecting flies with lightning speed like a botanical bear trap. Then there are the sundews, Drosera, which spread glistening drops of sticky dew on their leaves. An insect attracted to the shine gets stuck in the goo and the sundew's tentacle-like leaves slowly curl around the victim. Bladderworts, Utricularia, take the carnivorous game underwater using vacuum-like bladders to suck in tiny aquatic prey in an instant. And, of course, there are other pitcher plants beyond the tropical Nepenthes. In North America, the purple pitcher plant, Saracenia, grows in bogs and marshes, trapping bugs in its water-filled pitchers. Recently, scientists were astonished to discover that these pitchers don't stop at insects. In Canadian bogs, pitchers were found digesting juvenile salamanders that had fallen in, adding amphibians to their menu. From microscopic water fleas to small frogs, the carnivorous plant's menu is surprisingly diverse. Each species is like a miniature monster with its own specialty, proving that in the plant kingdom, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. From a vine that dines on rodents to flowers that digest flies, carnivorous plants are a vivid reminder that nature often writes the strangest stories. These green predators have flipped the script on who eats whom, turning the typical food chain on its head. It's a strategy born of necessity, making a living in places where life is hard, but it resulted in some of the most bizarre and fascinating organisms on Earth. The rat-eating pitcher plant may not sing show tunes like Audrey II from Little Shop of Horrors, but it doesn't need to. Its real-life penchant for prey is captivating and haunting all on its own. Nature's real-life Little Shop of Horrors teaches us that evolution doesn't shy away from the macabre if it means survival. In the end, we're left with profound appreciation and perhaps a bit of shuddering awe for these plants that blur the lines between hunter and flower. They are living proof that in the grand theatre of the wild, sometimes the most unassuming characters have the most astonishing roles.